Okay, the next progression is to put four balls in. Again, this just is testing the agility, the speed, the dexterity of players' hands so that when they come into game situations, they can actually take and give a pass that maybe isn't in the perfect position. They can still reach it and transfer it into a better position for the next receiver of the pass. So we just go to four balls now um, rather than the three that we just had. Okay, Jess? Yep. All right. All right. So you fit first one's on the floor, second one knees. Yeah. Okay, all right, go. Floor, knees, air, back to me. 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 Floor, come on, Jess, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Again, good fun exercises. Players love testing themselves with things like this and it just does really improve the sharpness of your hands to be able to catch and then deliver a ball quickly. The closer you can play to the defence and bring defenders into you before you deliver a pass, player defenders then can't follow your passes. So the more you can play in that pressure zone, the pass receipt zone, the harder it is for teams to defend against you. You can be smaller balls, I've done it with tennis balls, do it with little juggling balls, all anything that makes them have to just be really much more agile with their hands is of benefit to them. These are the sort of drills that when these players come out.